Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby and the Rainbow Curse and today we're starting on the first level of the Purple Fortress. We gotta start somewhere and we're gonna begin by infiltrating the Junk Factory. So let's go. Now this level is awesome. Everything about the final world in my opinion, it really sets the bar for quality. It kinda makes the other levels look bad in a way. At least in my opinion. I mean, just to start things off, yeah, secrets like that. You just don't get secrets like that in every other level, except we totally did. But now this level introduces a lot of new mechanics rather well, and they're really fun. I like them a lot. Yes, yeah, so let's get started. All the treasure chests in this area are relatively easy to get, but actually clearing it is not so easy. See, what we have to do is we have to get a lot of stars, and then use the star tackle to get that first chest. But the thing is that this room is quite large. So what we have to do is we first need to grab all the stars we can and hope that we can actually get the chest. Luckily, there are a lot of stars in this area to obtain, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem for Kirby and, uh, well, our helper friend. So let's destroy all the enemies we can find while simultaneously grabbing some of these keys. We're gonna need three keys to get, um, out of here, basically. And I think we... Do we have enough? Let's see, one, two... There's four that now we need we need a couple more, so we'll come up here and hopefully get these. There's also a bunch of uh, stars hanging out of the very top, which I'll probably need to grab since we need the star tackle for one more thing in this level, if memory serves me right. And now we should technically have enough to get this first figurine chest. I keep calling them figurine chests, but in the reality, they can also have music, so let's grab them and also get some more stars. A maxi tomato and knock that dude out, because why the heck not? And hey, we already discovered the final key that we need. Problem is, we don't have any rainbow to actually get up there, so let's do that. And I just really like the backdrop a lot. It's like, why TVs? It's so weird. Not a lot of games have just like busted up TVs, you know, just hanging around. It's kind of, it's kind of an interesting um, little thing. And oh my gosh, Johnny, can you get up there? It's like Nintendo's trying to say the TV is dead and the gamepad lives. Okay, probably not, but you know what I mean. Anyways, this next part is oh, I'm not too great at it. Basically, what we have to do is we have to activate this thing, then bounce off the wall and get to it really easily. The problem is. Not too great at it. See what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna get some stars unintentionally and try again. And now I'm down here. Ugh, okay. <laughs> My uh, pen ship is gonna have to be a little bit better if we're gonna clear the final world. Oh, I'm not gonna lose it. It's the first level after all. Come on, John. It's not. It's not that hard, John. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is this gonna be the whole episode? Okay. What we're gonna do? This is gonna be. It. Okay. Good. Ah, that was uh, quite annoying. <laughs> Either way, though. So now that we have all three keys, uh, we could leave, but there's also some stars to get up up here. If you do, you know, you're still trying to get that one treasure chest. That may put you over. There's a couple of them. So now that's taken care of, though. All we gotta do is head to the right. If I can hop over the, <laughs> the problem with making an area this large is it's sometimes difficult to like rest onto a block and get your rainbow back. It's, Somewhat taxing, but still doable, after all. No, nothing in this game is honestly too impossible, especially if you're not 100%ing. It's all, it's all, of, it, I'd say it's a very fair game, aside from the way they handle challenges. But I've narked on that uh, far too many times, and oh my. Once we step into this, these purple creatures are going to appear. Unless we have Super Kirby, there's no way to actually damage them. So, for the time being, just ignore them. Well, don't completely ignore them, like... Just be mindful of their existence and plan Kirby's movements accordingly. And now we have another challenge to take care of. And we're going to need the assistance of this purple creature. I don't know what to call him. He looks cool. I like his design. It's all blobby. To get into this room, you start with the second one, go, go to the first one, and then go to the third one. It's just that easy. Admittedly, kind of hard to figure out if... You know, you don't have enough time to do so, but luckily, we do. And I like how they saved purple for last, as far as the colors of the rainbow. I feel, I feel like that's kind of fitting. And yeah. There's a couple stars to grab here, but gosh, do I want to die for that? No. I mean, I got 4 HP, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I'd love to get this uh, HP, though, but it's guarded by one of those blocks. So maybe we'll avoid that. Mm -hmm. 
I kind of want some of these. I mean, it'd be a shame to leave all of them. And I think I'm going to get hit here. Yeah, I've already got... I've kind of already uh, chosen my own fate. I guess, but I, I probably could. Regardless, John, you took the hit. It's like, well, maybe if I was... Dang. And it's like, dude, don't even, don't even matter, man. Don't even matter. You just got to look in the future, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not one. I'm, I'm a person that likes to think I learn from my past, but don't let it control my future. I think it's kind of a whole motif on life, or you know, just way of living. I guess either way, though. A bunch of stairs and a hot dog. Whatever Frankfurter is doing this far in space, I will have. I, I just simply have no idea. But it's a video game after all. So who's to say? So now is the time that we. Uh, Sure, if I want to hit that guy right now, let's actually go around. How does that sound? But now is our chance to actually destroy all these dudes and get a ton of stars and also a very nice chest. Sweet. So, we now damage all these dudes. It's, to my knowledge, it's the only way we can do that. I guess maybe if you had the super. Eh, maybe if you had the star dash. I'm not sure on that. So. Don't waste it because it's very annoying to get. Look at this part. It's all these dudes just hanging out in the pipes. It's like, ugh, it's all creepy, you know? It's like, why are they doing that? It's like they're almost just, like, lifeless or something. All right. Right here we have a chance to draw a little path for Kirby and get all those stars. I like that. You know, pause the dunes. Hey, man, slow down. Get yourself some stars. I <laughs> Next up is a rather, let's say annoying, I guess just kind of... I don't know, I don't know what you call it. It's not annoying, but it's just so easy. It's like... A pain, I guess. You know what I mean? Have you guys ever felt anything like that? Maybe, maybe not. There's a one up out there, but nah, I'm not too crazy about it. So we'll maybe get that a little later. Uh, we want to make this open and then roll inside just to get to the door as quickly as possible. You know, let's grab some stars, why not? I actually think, no, do we need it one more time? I'm not too sure. I think that was actually the last instance we would need a start to. No, now we need it for this. Uh, no, we don't need the star tackle for this, but uh, I need to do this well. I need to not, I need to not get hit because I'll slow me down, but I need to get all... Mm! Mm! Do not want to die. Do not want... Okay, good. Uh. Yeah, that treasure is a pain in the butt. Luckily, it's the last one, and now we have a maxi tomato to heal us all the way up. So, with that being taken care of, rest of the level's pretty much a cinch climb over here and it's over and we have successfully infiltrated the factory and now we're that much closer to the antagonist of the game and getting the rainbow back in Popstar yeah in Dreamland to a lesser extent yeah and also figuring out where those hand things came from yeah there's a lot of things we're gonna figure out gosh dang it and we're gonna get them yeah anyways we're gonna get a whole bunch of figurines from doing that we got Finally, Kirby 64 music! A guy from the TV show, heck yeah! One of those Kirby looking dudes. Some mass attack music, and. Oh, we got Bandana Wallady like, rescuing us from one of the grab hands. That's awesome, I like that scene. It's you know, kind of cool. And yeah, the Junk Factory, a pretty fun level, not gonna lie. A couple tricky parts, but hey, not too difficult. And oh my gosh, guys. Hands down, one of my favorite levels in this game Kirby plus Kirby. This level is awesome. So, I'm not going to spoil anything, but you can probably figure a little bit of it out. And we will need the star tackle for, I believe... Okay, you only need it for one thing, but I'm going to need at least two. And it's like, if you can't get two star tackles on a level, you're probably missing something or horrible at gathering stars. FYI. No, I think we'll need more than that, but... Here we go, guys! It's going to be awesome! <laughs> two Kirby's. So this whole game, we've only controlled one. Now you gotta do two. It is awesome. This is how you do an auto-scroller correctly. So basically, the two Kirbys, they share the same HP bar, but they're on different planes, and eventually will actually unite and be on the same area. And it's really cool. You can gather the same, uh, you can <laughs> gather the same amount of stars. And, oh my gosh, can I hit this Bronto over? But no, your stars, your HP, they all carry the same, and your same amount of ink, you know, it, it's linked, but you can get a lot done if you're careful with two Kirby's and I don't even know Okay, I was looking at the bottom one dump. That's how I get hit But yeah, it's actually kind of it's a really unique concept I know it, it was something similar in Kirby massive ma mass attack, but uh like, 
it's just, I can't even put it into words how awesome it is. It's actually probably a lot more fun to play than to watch. Yeah. We got one of these uh, puzzle sections coming up, but because I can rely on the bottom Kirby to actually roll into them, I can focus on the top and just get all the puzzle pieces. Is that easy, guys? You don't even know. Oh man, this is a really, a really unique level. It's a bummer there's only, you know, four chests. I think it's the... There's only two levels in the whole game that do that? Is that true? I feel like that's true. It's kind of funny. So it's this level in the tank one. Or the first tank one. I'm doing two tank levels, but... Yeah, I hope you got some star tackles, because we're gonna need them. And if not, both Kirby's probably get you some stars. Yeah, second chest already down. Guys, we already got half the chests. It's crazy. Yeah, don't really worry too much about health. Uh, they will give out plenty of health in this level. It's not really an issue. Just just uh, let yourself auto-scroll, have a blast, keep track of your Kirby's, and have some fun for once. You silly? This is a fun level. It's almost, the game's almost over. Enjoy yourself. Which is kind of sad. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I've really enjoyed this game. It was everything I wanted out of another Kirby game in similar style. It's, you know, the last one we had, but... Similar style. It's every, it fulfills on every front. Really no major complaints. Just a really fun time. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to shut off the uh, multiplayer. I'm not really sure how that would work with this level, or if even it's possible with this level. I'm not too sure on that. But... Hey, that'd be cool. I guess they just pick one path and... Come on, Kirby! Second Kirby. Could... Or is that the first one? Who knows? I guess they're kind of just Kirby and a half, really. And now we're going up. This time instead of to the right. See, now... We gotta defend ourselves from two sides against these guys. Luckily, they're nice enough to be carrying you know, like stars for us. That's pretty nice, and it feels like I've collected a lot of stars in this Let's Play. Mario, eat your heart out, man. I ain't get 120 stars in no time, dude. It's so easy for me. <laughs> Either way, though, we got some more of these panels. Let's draw that one on the left. Actually, that, actually, that was the right. Yeah, I'm, I'm really smart, aren't I? <laughs> And now with uh, right Kirby, we can go up a little bit and uh, get that. So now we can unite! Yeah! And now this is the coolest part of the, all of this. When there's two Kirbys, man, they can bounce off of each other with their dash attack. It is really cool. I'm going to try and do it yeah, just like that. It is really, really awesome. It's a little hard to get them to go exactly where you want, especially in this gray zone. You can't really draw anything and guide them, but it is very effective in destroying enemies. It makes me wish this was like a, you know, a more common thing in the game. I mean, just this one level. Admittedly, it is a very good level based on this one mechanic, but come on. It would have been so great to have this in more of the game. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. <laughs> I'm overjoyed with this. If you couldn't tell, I kind of like it. Yeah, so let's get some more stars. I think we have way more than enough uh, power attacks than we'll be needing, yeah. We have a lot of star tackles, that's for sure, but we want to Can you ever have enough special attacks? No, I don't think you can, so let's uh, just keep grabbing st Ugh, gosh, the we haven't seen bouncies in a while. I forgot how to fight them, actually. That's not good. And, hmm, I, actually, I guess you need star tackle more times than I thought. Unfortunately, you can't star tackle two Kirby's at the same time. That'd be way too cool. And destroy that block to get your next treasure chest. Only one left, and getting that last one is relatively easy. And hey, a maxi tomato! Don't mind if I do. You all the way up. But oh no, they're bringing in the, the heavy duty. Rather slowly. That's okay with me, but as long as we have our Kirby's right next to each other, we should be able to do that. And yeah, take out a whole but Whoa! <laughs> Keep ricocheting back and forth. That's pretty awesome. And yeah, they, they give you a maximum tomato. And then just a bunch of those guys in case you took some damage. At least they're being nice about it. <laughs> but still, don't get hit. Because only losers do that. We're going to block these. Actually, no, let's, hit. let's go for it. I was planning to block them, but then I drew incorrectly. Yeah, anyways. Let's uh, go up here. If I could ever do that. Okay. <laughs> well, we accidentally went inside the door. That was kind of funny. And now we have to duel. A bunch of cannons, but the issue is we can't draw ourselves and get uh we can't get ourselves up there by conventional means. So what should we do? Well, use the ricochet and block the bullets and send Kirby fly. Oh, nice, dude. Corner pocket. Oh, that was so close. What the heck? We'll get him though. It's so difficult to get the center one. You can't bounce Kirby off that thing in the center, but yeah, it's not it's not too easy. I don't know what I was thinking there. Probably was not gonna work. 
Yeah. Come on. Uh, see, it's like you need to hit him in the corner. <sighs> we'll get it, man. We'll get it. Come on. Maybe I need more speed. Is that gonna hit? Oh, so close. Maybe. Okay. I think I'm gonna aim like around. Like, not the corner, but like the side of that wall. Like, oh, well, that worked out sort of. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, entirely. So now we can progress to the final part of the level. Yeah. Kind of sad to see this uh, level go, actually. It's really, really fun. But Kirby must yeah, kind of fuse back together. And man, look at all the stuff around here. Look at that background. And whoa, look at this. We still didn't do a challenge in this level now, or did we? If I could roll into the right direction, that'd be fantastic. So for this challenge, just use your star tackles, man. You're going to send all the Kirbys flying and most likely get the last chest. That's not how they intend you to do it. But it's way easier if you do it that way, and man, just look at that back. I love, I love the art design so much, man. Gosh, but uh, eventually everything must come to an end. One of the best levels in Kirby history, honestly. Like that was just fantastic. Must end as well. And hey, we got the journal. Nice, sweet. And yeah, guys, this let's play just didn't last long enough. In the next episode of Let's Play Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, we pretty much. Go and fight the final boss, and hey! Is that Squig Squad music? Oh my gosh, we finally got Meta Knight! I thought that was an amiibo thing, but no, it's in the game. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. We got double Kirby's! <laughs> Those are some awesome figurines. But yes, in the next episode of Let's Play Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, we take on the final level and the final boss. So see you guys then. Bye.